We find here a song of David's refuge, a mascal of David, when? When he was in a cave. With my voice I cry out to the Lord. With my voice I plead for the mercy of the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. And when my spirit faints within me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. Look to the right and see there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No one cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of my prison, that I may give thanks to your name. And the righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. What does David do when his life caves in on him? David cries out to the Lord. It's one of the things I love about studying David. His life is literally an open book. I mean, we get to see not only his struggles, his good choices, his bad choices, uh, his sin, his repentance. Uh, we get to see um, his heart when he's hurting and his heart when he's joyful. And not only his defeats, but his victories. And David's crying out here because he is truly at the lowest point of his entire life. And where do you find David when he's at his lowest? Well, where the man after God's own heart should be, crying out to God. God was shaping David. He was molding him. He was allowing things to go well and allowing things to go bad to... Uh, like applying pressure to the clay and shaping David and to be the man that he wanted him to be. He needed David to trust him completely. God needs David, and David needs, to know that God is his offense, God is his defense, God is his strong tower, God is every victory he would ever have if he would just completely trust him. And sometimes we have to get in the deepest, darkest caves of our life to truly submit and trust God with all of our battles. Do you trust Him? What do you do when your life caves in on you? Do you trust Him? Are you calling out to God? We know that the story here goes forward in a pretty good way. We know that David's story has ups and downs, and this is just one of the downs. But we know your story has ups and downs. And if you're a child of the king, if you're a chosen, anointed, sealed child of the king, then we know that your story ends well. But today, be it the coronavirus or the economy or... Uh, the grades you're getting, or a relationship that you're struggling in. Are you trusting God? Cry out to Him today. As we have a, a, a moment of invitation, I'm just going to pray for you. I want you to trust God. God wants you to trust Him. And I'm going to pray that that's exactly what you do in your struggle at the moment. Maybe you're not struggling really hard right now, but you know someone who is. During this prayer, I pray that you would just reach out on their behalf to God. Pray and ask God to be their victory. And then maybe a little later in the day, call them and let them know that you're praying for them. Bow your heads with me. Oh, Father God, David seemed to have lost everything. And yet you rebuild him gloriously. In our deepest, darkest times, Lord, help us to do as David did. To cry out to you. To thank you. To worship you. And above all else, Lord, to trust you. Lord, we're afraid of things in this world. 
But you told us that when we could fear you, that we had nothing else to fear. Lord, I do pray for um, all of those that are sick with the coronavirus. Lord, I pray that you will, uh, Lord, heal their bodies. Lord, I pray for our doctors and nurses and paramedics and people that are having to work hand-to-hand -hand with this virus, fighting it on the forefront. It may be their Goliath. Lord, you be their stones. Lord, I pray that you will protect them and keep them. That you will, Lord, use them at this time. Lord, for all of the children that are at home, uh, out of school, uh, Lord, I pray that you will protect them even from their own sin, their own problems, Lord. That you will use this time to, to bring them closer to their family and closer to you. Lord, I pray that you will bring our church back together physically in your house, worshiping your name. And until we do, I pray that you protect us all. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. I will let you know real soon when to look for the next message. I'll promise you that next week, we're going to be jumping right into the next step, David and his mighty men. An exciting part of the story, almost like an Old Testament Justice League kind of story. You're going to like it. Stay tuned.